In this video, I want to show you a way just to tidy up the presentation of the surface before it becomes printed. So in here you can see contour lines, uh, feature lines, and some symbols. But we also have this red line generated out here, which is the boundary of the surface. And uh, as we can see, that red line goes all the way around the extent of the surface. But when we go into our layout mode, and begin to think about printing this out, you can also see the red line on there. Now the risk is that if this gets photocopied or printed in black and white, that line may look like a feature line and be mistaken as uh, perhaps a wall or a curb line or something like that. So we need to remove that red line from our model so it doesn't get printed. Uh, there are a couple of ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you what I think is the simplest one, okay? All of these contour lines have their own layer, essentially. So what we're going to do is select the surface by clicking anywhere on it. We go up to our surface properties. And you can see at the moment we've got the surface style set to 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. We're going to edit that by clicking, clicking into this button here. Now this brings up a lot of information about the surface style the grid interval and things like that that you can change. But the one we want to focus in on is display. And you can see here the different layers that are being used in that surface. All we need to do to make that red line that's in here uh, invisible is to find the layer for border and turn it off. So I'm clicking, left clicking on that little bulb to turn it off. When I go OK, OK again, that red line has been removed or temporarily uh, turned off the display, uh, which is the way that you would want it to, to look. If we go into our layout now, you can see that the red line is no longer there. So it's not going to get confused uh, or mixed up for a physical feature. Okay.